I'm going to have to call somebody here to get this next segment on the radio. I need a little help telling this story here. At least let's get the let's get my my newfound friend Jeff. Oh, good. Okay, on, I want to hear this on the radio because uh, well because of what happened. Hello. Morning, Jeff. Morning. How are you? Good. All right. Hey, Greg, meet Jeff. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Oh, pretty good. How are you, Greg? Oh, good. So I hear you uh, met my little buddy, Woody, this weekend, huh? <laughs> yeah. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> funny, well funny, thing, <laughs> funny thing is, <laughs> funny thing is, I owe Jeff a uh, $20 bill, and uh, and here's what happened in, the, in my new segment called How to Advertise Something on Craigslist and Get at Least a Dollar More Out of It Than What You Advertise. <laughs> So we had this China Hutch. It's not even ours. It belongs to my stepdaughter's friend who was storing it in our garage. And she's like, oh, just get get rid of it. Just put it on Craigslist. And it's a nice oak hutch, isn't it, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very nice. And so we're kind of eyeballing it going, okay, what's a good price to make this sell quick? We put two ninety nine on it. You know, it was probably a $1,000 or $1,200 new. Uh-huh. Uh, but it's got some dings on it and some age and everything. We put two ninety nine on it. Didn't get any hits. My wife says, why don't you drop the price on that thing and let's get it out of the garage? So she must have asked me that maybe five or six times, and I kept forgetting. Mm-hmm. Finally, late one night, I opened up Craigslist. I changed the price to one ninety nine, and Jeff calls the next day. Okay. And he said, and I completely forgot I changed the price. And Jeff goes, "Hey, uh, you still got that hutch?" And I go, "I still got the hutch." <laughs> so he pulls pulls in my driveway with a flatbed and goes, uh, "He goes, hey, will you take one eighty for this?" Now I thought he was lowballing me from two ninety nine because I forgot I dropped the price. Oh, no. And I thought, wow, that's that's a, that's a negotiator. That's a hardcore right there, Jeff. <laughs> hey, will you take one eighty for this? And I said, uh, two hundred. And he goes, uh, hmm. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> when I already dropped the price to one ninety nine, and now I'm asking two hundred. Oh no. I upped him a dollar without saying a word. He gave me two hundred dollars, loaded the hutch, and left. I went in to change uh, to uh, cancel the Craigslist ad and realized what I just done. <laughs> I'm like, that dude showed up and offered me one eighty. I'd have taken one eighty off one ninety nine. And I told told him two hundred dollars, and he said, "Okay, nut okay. job. <laughs> <laughs> Just get the hutch and get the heck out of here." <laughs> so yes, at one at one ninety nine, I'd have taken one eighty. Jeff, I owe you a twenty dollar bill, or let's get together for lunch or something. And thank you for your business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I just figured you needed the dollar more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> There's no excuse for laziness. Wait, wait, wait. I found one. Uh, two. Greg and Woody in the morning. Back with more next on KORD.